Add and edit walls in the building file. Make window wall type. Okay, we're going to be making a window wall type. And the key here is we're going to make custom glazing wall and use inside of curtain wall. Save that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the default 3D view. No, in fact, I'm going to go in the project browser and just go down to live section. Kind of like that view. Okay, I'll just expand that out a little bit. So these right here are window walls, just by the architectural definition. They're uh, not a self-supporting glass wall, but they're inside of another wall. And right now, we are just using the one called storefront, but we're going to make our own. And really with the aim of making a corner glass mullion really function properly. So there's two steps to this. First of all, we're going to be making a wall, which is just glass, just a pane of glass. And then we'll use that as the panel. Okay, so I'm going to go to Architecture tab in the ribbon and then click on Wall. And just Edit Type Duplicate. I'm going to call this one Acme Glass 1. And I'm going to go into the Structure, click on Edit, and just going to delete pretty much everything else except for the structure and delete. Okay, and instead of a metal stud layer, I'm going to click on this and change this to Glass. And there's glass and glass clear glazing, and they're very subtle difference just the way that they render. We could use clear glazing is fine. Say OK. And the thickness, let's go with one inch. Of course, you can change that to whatever your glass thickness should be. I'm going to use one inch as a start. OK and OK. OK, so that's the first part. We just have a wall that's just glass. Next, we're going to customize a curtain wall. So I'm going to click on a curtain wall. What I'm going to do is draw it in first, and then I'm going to customize it. So I'll click on that curtain wall and go to Create Similar, which I can just right click and choose Create Similar. Type in CS, that works too. Create Similar. So where am I starting here? So level, main floor height, 14 feet. OK, let's go with that. So I'll just start right on that. I might actually just start one right here. Just go between there and there. OK. Hit escape a couple times. So really what I'm looking for here is just I want it to be about the right height. The length will adjust later. So I'm just going to click on that one. Now what I'm going to do is edit the type of this curtain wall. And that's a Revit term for a family called a curtain wall. I'm going to click Edit Type, Duplicate. We're going to call this one Acme Window Wall 1, Enter. And the curtain panel we're going to use is the Acme glass one and then just say okay to that really subtle change i mean it's really hard to tell what the difference would be between this and this and we're going to discover what that is it mainly has to do with the corner but um, let's just do that for now now while we've done that i think it might be a good idea if we just switch these other ones instead of being the standard storefront we're going to switch them to acme window wall one and we actually have some other ones here as well. That's a window. Those are not curtain walls. Those are just fixed windows that we made. OK, good. So let's save what we've done. Do a Save As. Just update that building file. OK, and then we will close this. And that concludes this lesson.